Makofi, tafadhali. Thank you very much. ODM leader Raila Odinga has slammed Deputy President William Ruto for what he termed as political hypocrisy for not fulfilling his promises. You've forgotten about what you promised. Now you're promising wheelbarrows. Instead, this is what is called political hypocrisy. Thank you, madam, for that. Odinga further added that the Jubilee government has failed in his administration, adding that all the promises that they made during the campaigns were clickbait to lure Kenyan voters. What do you do with the wheelbarrow? You've spent so many years of, of training with me, and somebody tells you that the only thing that will liberate this country is a wheelbarrow. What we need is innovation. An opportunity for meaningful engagement, something that is well thought out, a proper program for transformation of our society from a, a second class economy to a middle income economy. During the meeting with student leaders, Senator Rengo ridiculed the Hasland narrative, accusing the Deputy President William Ruto of degrading Kenyan university graduates with the wheelbarrow. And you know, this thing, this wheelbarrow narrative. It's not even old school. This is, this is degradation. It's like admiring the Stone Age man when people are going to the moon. Anthony Manyara, the Kuso chairman, has drummed up support for the BBI, claiming that the youth are up and ready for the initiative. The leaders were speaking during the issuance of certificates to the outgoing Kuso leaders. Go and create jobs, but then where do you create jobs? So we have to support something, objectives, that are likely to boost our economy. And those, those are enshrined in the BBI document. It is now clear that the BBI has spread its truth to the youth, even with the Kenyan University Student Organization promising to take part and playing the role in support of the initiative. Robert Omar, Switch TV, Nairobi.